Okay, good afternoon to everybody. Um, the first one uh, presentation is uh, related to, to an uh, European project of Erasmus uh, Plus. And, uh, this project is Learning for Work, Improving Computational Skills and Curriculum of Vocational Training Students. In this case, we will talk about uh, technological behavior of uh, pharmacy students in a digital marketing course. Uh, the idea, the framework of the project is to, to uh, implement uh, new educational methodologies in pre-university and vocational training uh, that in Spain also know uh, as formación profesional. And the idea is uh, to uh, introduce methods to assess the impact and the effectiveness uh, in education of uh, different methodologies. In this case, of course, we want to improve learning processes, uh, make them more applicable in the real working world, uh, minimizing the number of student to pouch that in uh, the three countries of the, the, the project is uh, developed, uh, France, Italy and Spain, is uh, some uh, countries with the most uh, high uh, dropout uh, uh, mark of, of Europe and the use of immersive walls and role and project-oriented learning. What is the challenge of this special project, this special uh, um, paper that we will present uh, here in team? The evaluate and discuss how students of vocational training from different areas uh, can adapt, pass, and use in the future some contents that previously are not being of interest in their studies. As we say uh, in, the, in the presentation, we can see that uh, we are uh, thinking, we are uh, working with uh, computational thinking about uh, digital marketing uh, courses in a pharmacy and pharmacology studies. Our team are composed by uh, four uh, main uh, uh, enterprises, uh, aside from uh, Spain, that is the uh, Invest project uh, uh, leader, and there are two schools from Spain, from Italy, and from France of vocational training uh, that are not related with uh, digital, technological courses, informatic. We can find, for example, of marketing, we can find pharmacy, we can find um, uh, uh, auto. And children, uh, educational. That is. In this case, we work with uh, two schools, one from Italy and other from Spain, that are focused on pharmacy and parapharmacy students. E, and the idea is to develop a digital marketing course in this area. The course is planning to be developed through uh, 12 working weeks with three hours uh, per week uh, to work, and the rest of the task will consist in performing the different formative activities and preparing the evaluation uh, test for each section. The contents of the digital mar marketing course are uh, developed in three sections, in three phases. Uh, the first one, search engine optimization, the second one, search engine markets, and the uh, third one, social media marketing. The students were divided in different groups, uh, a group only from Spain, a group only from Italy, and a group, an international group with the students from Italy and from uh, Spain. And they uh, need to develop an project of uh, enterprise and to position his, uh, their uh, enterprise in the internet with using these uh, contents to um, locate in the, the best option to make the marketing of uh, his products, the products. The sample was composed by 47 students between 17 and 44 years old, uh, all of them without uh, university uh, education, without university studies. They are in a pre university course. Uh, the group uh, had a good academic record and with uh, significant differences. They have a non-technological profile. As you can see, we are talking about pharmacy uh, students. All of them, more or less, uh, are uh, 
using social networks, all of them uh, use uh, personal computer daily, all of them more or less have a, a smartphone and use internet every day. We, then we can uh, find an homogeneity uh, works. The first one uh, in a profile test, in a pre-test, uh, we ask uh, to uh, uh, define what is the information technology programs that they know, for example, using Office or using multimedia. We can find a huge rate in moderate and a high, and a high uh, knowledge of the, this type of programs. Also, uh, if we are focusing on uh, information technology tools like blogs, mail, wikis, forums, uh, we can find that also there is a, a rich quantity of students with a moderate or high uh, rate. And uh, ask, it, ask them about the information technology previous course that they attended. More or less, we can find that uh, any previous training there is the most uh, the, uh, answer that we can find with nearly 50% and uh, sometime with 28% but no recently. All the data you can see here uh, are explaining that you can view in the paper with a model type. After the course, we ask uh, them for two main things. The specific skills of, uh, that they have obtained by the course and they can apply in the future, uh, labor future, and the student course satisfaction with this type of education that is not in his her uh, focus uh, studies. As you can see, uh, before after the first. Uh, we can see that uh, in the specific skills, uh, all the skills that have been uh, studied, and, and they have an improve uh, over the course, past the course. And if we think about uh, the student's course satisfaction, like usability study, we can find that the, all the variables studied and, uh, has an improve. Uh, the, the marks uh, pass the course with uh, developed. Main conclusions, I think that a brief uh, presentation is better because we are in the final of the day and I think that all of us uh, are tired. Uh, we have seen an improvement of the students, training on their skills, the course and training have obtained a high level of satisfaction by the students, even though the training does not match with the profile. We feel that they have uh, some interest on, on the training and uh, training in digital marketing is quite appropriate for uh, information technology students as well as for students of other areas of knowledge. And maybe the, the, this type of answer, a positive answer in, in this type of course is because we don't, uh, we have, uh, we don't have a, 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 a typical uh, education we have to divide in um, uh, SCC uh, course, uh, scenario center curriculum, and we have divided the groups into different roles. Every student has a different role, the project manager, the marketing leader, the technological programmation, and they have uh, working uh, together to develop his project, the project uh, without any problem. And this type of collaborative working, uh, we think that maybe is the best option uh, in this type of uh, students that they, uh, at this moment, for example, because they are that of the last uh, uh, semester of the, this past year, and they are working, or maybe they, uh, they need to work at this moment because this is the second course of uh, FAP, from a professional, and now, uh, is uh, they are working or maybe they are working we, have, we need to ask to the schools to have the data of the employability of the students and the last year of the, of the, of the project is to study the employability of the students 
and com the students and compare of, with previous schools that all the students have uh, done the course with a normal uh, program without this type of skills to compare if these students are better prepared uh, to incorporate in the market uh, in the working uh, lab. And that's all for this uh, uh, conclusion for this project, for this presentation.